The time a woman exposed a medical catastrophe. This is Dr. Frances Kelsey, and in 1960 she's hired as a medical officer at the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, and her job is to review new medicines. And one of her first cases is a miracle drug. It treats anxiety, it reduces morning sickness and nausea in pregnant women, it's completely non-addictive, which is a big plus, and it apparently has no side effects. Plus, it's already being sold to thousands of people in Europe. But for a drug to be approved in the US, it has to submit data to the FDA. Studies in animals or humans showing that it doesn't one-shot you or hurt you. So Dr. Kelsey received the data. She looks it over and it's terrible. The company's studies were at a super small scale and they were sloppy. Basically just doctors handing out the drugs and jotting down notes from their patients. Some of those patients also reported nerve damage, which the company downplayed, and worst of all, that was sold for morning sickness was never actually tested in pregnant women. So obviously, Dr. Kelsey refuses and the drug isn't approved. And the company is furious. They try to pressure her by sending representatives to her office. They go above her to her bosses, who promptly reject them. They even send millions of pills to the US as samples to try to build hype for the drug. But Francis keeps asking the same question. Where's the proof it's safe for pregnant women? And for months, she refuses to budge. Until reports start coming in from Europe where the drug is being used and across the continent, babies are being born with missing limbs. That miracle drug was thalidomide, a compound that is now famous for causing awful birth defects. And by 1961, it's already caused thousands of these cases all across the world but not in the United States. And in 1962, President Kennedy hands Dr. Kelsey a medal for preventing a medical catastrophe. 